Hi everyone. Okay, so um, I've had this idea that I was gonna do with my Christmas queen, but decided not to because I wanted to make her really elegant and beautiful. I also wanted to mess her up a little bit, kind of like a glam and gore. I know you guys see, you know, the tag along ideas that I have from Mikey, like making something glam and then making something gore. I know, and I'm sorry, but I feel like you get the best out of that. Like instead of just doing glam or instead of just doing gore, I feel like if you took something beautiful and then messed it up, I don't know. I feel like I find the beauty in that, you know? And I don't think there's enough of that. What is this that I'm doing? I don't know. Am I praying? What? What? Like a virgin. Ooh! Touch from the very first time. Bum, 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 bum. Like a virgin. Okay, stop. All right, so... Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Obviously, you know by the title. And I'm really excited to do this because I, I don't know, I just got this idea when I saw this fake bulb. It is fake, by the way. Whoever thinks this is real, okay, you need to go somewhere. Or you need to watch some really old, scary movies so you know the difference between real... Real? That's not right. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to say that. You know the difference between really bad gore and just really good gore. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is going to be on the lines of really bad gore. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I have this bulb. I thought about maybe putting it on my cheek. Make it look like it went right into my cheek. Yes. And then just... Yeah, okay, it's happening. Alright. Okay, so first I have to get glam. So that's what this was for. I started to prime my face. And last night I tried to curl my hair. I, you really can't tell. But literally last night I tried to curl my hair. And as you can see, it has kept somewhat of a curl. <laughs> it definitely did not. But um, but yeah, that, that's literally what happened last night. Oh yeah, so I came home and my stomach was killing me. So my stomach was killing me. So I really, really, really could not find it in me to do anything last night. So... We're gonna do it today because we're gonna go to another store soon, but that's not for another couple of hours. So I think I can whip up a quick glam makeup and stick a fake bulb on my face. Yes, I'm gonna snap my fingers and my eyebrows are gonna be done. And they're most definitely not gonna be twins. I can see my future right now. <laughs> Is this what I have to do to make sure my eyes don't wrinkle or crease? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, now I'm gonna take some shimmer products that I've had uh, since the beginning of time, and I'm just gonna make it, my eyes a very glittery. I almost dropped it! Oh my god, I wanna be bad! <laughs> This dark like crimson red would be kind of cute. Let's try that. Is it red? Okay, this brush is doing nothing.
Okay, so since uh, last time I did red lips for my Christmas queen, I think I'm going to do green lips this time. Yeah. Why am I doing lips first? I don't know. And because of Caleb, who this is the one lipstick he got into, that uh, now I have to apply it with this. And uh, since Caleb got into my lipstick, I have to apply it like this. <laughs> he actually knows how to take the caps off to my lipstick, so we need to make sure that he doesn't get into my lipsticks. Because he definitely does. No! Perfect wing ruined. So funny. I love that part. Happened again. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you guys a really cool trick that I learned a long time ago, like maybe like I want to say like over a year ago I learned this trick. Um, I did not learn it from anyone. I literally learned it from myself. So if you see anyone else doing this, just know that I didn't get it from them. I just thought of it one day. So um, I am really bad at putting blush and highlighter on and like making it look like cohesive and beautiful and like bright and stuff like that. And if any of you have that problem, I suggest that you put something like this. So I use all four of these shades. I kind of like mix them together. So this is, they're like coral shades. So that that's like a shade that's good for my cheek tones. You know what I'm saying? So you could do like pinks or you can do like fuchsias. You can do whatever you want to your cheeks. I'm not saying you have to like stick with corals. But I'm saying that you should use shimmery eyeshadow. Yes, I know you're like, what, what, that sounds horrible. No, I swear to God, like it literally looks like blush and it looks like you put like a perfect amount of like highlighter on your cheek. So let me demonstrate. <gasps> scream 2 is on! Yes! They're playing Scream 2 right after Scream 1. Oh, I love you. I love you, Encore. I love you. Good job. So smart. Okay, so I dabbed in there. I got like a decent amount of random ass product, right? And... Oh, I must have used this for another look. Oh my god. Oh. Great way to find out. Black cheek. So stylish. Let's get rid of it, shall we? I was literally contemplating to myself just now. I'm like, as I'm watching Scream, I know you're like, what else is new? So, uh,. I was like, should I put Scream 2 on? Because, you know, they're they're playing Scream 1, and now I want to watch the second one. It's on TV. So, I'm very happy to you right now. Okay, let's try this again with a clean brush. So let's try this again. We're gonna swirl, we're gonna swirl, and swirl. Okay. And you can do it subtle. So see, you can do a tiny little rosy cheek. But we're not going for that kind of look today. We're going for really rosy. Really good. See, 
don't talk about you guys so we can really really build it up so now that it's like really rosy and like re like like you probably wouldn't want to wear this on a normal basis like this is really rosy but it's so pretty look I just look like Rudolph oh yeah this opening scene in Scream 2 is horrible it's just horrible because it's like an automatic kill I don't know just just a very sad Besides the fact that I love Jada Pickett Smith and she gets killed in the last, like, the first, like, ten minutes of the movie. But, you know, she's not really good. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? Um, I think my glam is just about over. What else do I need to do? Do I need to do anything else? I mean, I think I was going to add some jewels to my face. Let's do that. Any ideas? That took forever. All right, but now I have perfectly cute curls like I'm going to a Christmas party. And like a ball accidentally hit me in the face. Okay, now I'm gonna add um, different pieces of the bulb, like two different parts of my face so it looks like that just a bulb just didn't just go on my face, so. Um, let's do that. Not my day. I'm just gonna throw liquid latex everywhere. Why not? No, no, come on, stop it. 
This is not cool. Oh, God. What's asleep? What's asleep? What's asleep? Oh, they're all coming off. No, they're literally all coming off. Come on, liquid latex. How good are you if I can't even put friggin' blood over you? Come on. Seriously. Okay, this is getting really relentless right now. That's what you get for not wanting to dance with Mickey. Okay, so besides all the pieces falling off, okay, so this is the finished look. I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down. If you want adventure, then fly to home. But if you want to travel, then go alone. Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Dumbass bitch. See, nowadays you'd be dead if you did that. If the fucking killer was like, I'm on your front porch, you'd be like, So where are you? So where are you? You dead. Dead. Can you see me right now? What am I doing? She's funny. She's really funny. You gotta give her that. You gotta give her points I'm for that. It's because there's two of them. One's been in the house for hours. In your closet, Chiquita. The fact that he, she doesn't die right here is like, amazing. He smacks her right in the friggin' head. It's because he waited. If you smacked her in the head and then stabbed her, there wouldn't be a scream for or would there have been? But but would have been worse if they killed off Sydney. Let's be honest. Big no no. Seriously, you guys are gonna get sick and tired of me saying this, but it's literally one of my favorite quotes ever. Where are my scissors? Like literally. I think she said that during like what was it, the Tinder the the Tinder uh video she did. Oh my god, she literally could not find her scissors for her. I think her um, eyelashes, and she's like down here. She's like, where are my scissors? <laughs> like just the way she said. It's so funny. I fucking love Mikey. Mikey brings me life, and so does Rob Beauty Christie. If you guys don't watch Rob Beauty Christie, she's literally hilarious. Like she's just like, um, my face looks like budget, and like that's literally what she'll say. Like she's she's very unfiltered. Very much like me. I try to be. I try to be a little bit more closed off because I feel like my language can really get up there. So I'm just. I'm trying to be good, but goes against all I know. Where is this mirror? Where did it go? Because I tried to do this look last night, but my sister ended up inviting me to what was it again? Joanne Fabrics, which is like my heaven. And, and Michael's, like, if I ever had money, if I was ever, like, a millionaire, that's literally where I would spend most of my money. Uh, but I wouldn't spend it on, like, the full price items because that shit is not freaking cheap, okay? But anyway, we had a good time going through Joanne Fabrics and just looking at everything. And, I mean, all of the Christmas stuff is, like, 60% off. Or, like, it was, like, buy one, get three free. It was, like, crazy. But that sale ended, I think, on, like, what's today? Saturday, so I didn't think it ended on Friday, but look them up because oh my god, that sales crazy. But what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna... You think I picked a good day to do a glam makeup? Meet creator number one, and creator number two, and wannabe creator number three. 
and used to be creator number negative one. We're gonna call her creator wannabe number four. Yeah. And then basically every other thing on my face is just a normal. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I don't know. Demarcation. N natural flaw in my face. I don't. I don't know. Don't ask. Don't ask. We're gonna move on. We're gonna do eyebrows now. So if you guys ever see this, it's Bella Pierre. I think I got this at Marshalls when I was still working there. I think it was like, or it was a part of a set, and then you know, I think they just like gave it to me for like a dollar or something like that, and. It is literally the most, like, potent shimmer, loose shimmer ever. Like, oh my god. Like, I don't understand how, like, I, like, this is, this is proof to me that, that, like, bigger brands are just charging way too much for this, this, these products because I'm pretty sure that set was not that expensive to begin with. Just saying. Glitter! There's glitter in my hair! Okay, so don't pay attention to the guy behind the curtain. Was it the man behind the curtain? I think it's the man. Don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain.